Welcome to Reuse and Create by Sritapa. Today I'll share the making of this A-line dress. So for the tutorial, watch this video till the end. For making this dress, I took 2 meters of fabric and 4 folded it. This is the open side. And this is the folded side this is the measurement I am using you can take measurements as per your requirements at first draw a straight line now the shoulder measurement will be half of shoulder width plus 0.25 inch in my measurement it is coming 6.75 inch The armhole is same as shoulder measurement which is 6.75 inch. Now draw the armhole curve. The chest measurement will be chest round by 4 plus 0.75 inch for ease. In my measurement it is coming 8.25 inch and I am adding 1 inch extra for seam allowance. Now mark the bust line at 10 inch and waist line at 14 inch. Then extend the points through a straight line. Similarly, the bust measurement will be bust round by 4 plus 0.75 inch for ease. Here my measurement is coming 8.75 inch and I will leave 1 inch extra for seam allowance. Waist measurement equal to waist round by 4 plus 0.75 inch and my measurement is coming 7 inch. Now join the points. And join the seam allowance points also. Now taking the length up to 38 inch and I will add frills of 4 inch extra so the full length will become 42 inch. You can adjust the length as per your requirements. Now mark at 4 inch above from the bottom line. Now join this point with the waist point. And give a carved shape at the bottom. I cut the outer line. Now take the extra fabric and turn it over. And place it as shown the fabric will be used to increase the flare of the dress now measure the length here and mark the same length on the outer side of the fabric leaving half inch fabric in the upper part now complete the carve This will be the colors of the dress. Here we will get 4 colors, 2 for each front and back part. Now I will mark the front neckline. I am taking neck depth at 5 inch and neck width 4 inch. Now mark a straight line up to 3 inch here and give a V shape by joining these two points. And draw the front armhole at half inch inwards. Then I cut the neckline and armhole. Now mark at half inch here and draw a slant straight line and cut it. So 
for the back neckline neck width is 4 inch and neck depth 5 inch here i am making a square neckline Now join neck strips by right side facing each other in front neckline and back neckline. After joining give small cuts and turn the strip on the other side. Press it well and finish the neckline by stitching. Similarly I have done in the back neckline and made a place to attach chain. You can skip this part. Now attach the curlies in each side of each part by right side facing each other and then turn it over. So I joined the curlies in both sides of front and back part. Now for the frills. I took fabric of 5 inch width and folded one side. Now giving a running stitch. Now gather the fabric by pulling the thread for making frills for the bottom line. and attach it in the bottom of the dress right side facing each other I attach the frills in both front and back part now join the shoulders then turn it in the right side and finish the armhole round by attaching bias strips for making the sleeves take two piece of fabric of 16 into 3 inch and draw a curve as shown Then fold the carved side and stitch it. Similarly, I gave running stitch on the other side and making frills by pulling the thread and adjust the length at 8 inch. Now finish this side using fabric strips. Sleeves are ready. Now I will attach it on the dress. Place the sleeve in the middle of the armhole and join it. Then give the fitting stitch of the dress and it's done. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more such tutorials.